All right, I'm gonna show you how to calibrate using Tilt Pi. I'm on the calibration screen right now. Uh, I got here um, starting from the main screen and then selecting this menu, clicking calibration. Um, so going over to the specific gravity calibration, I currently have a calibration point saved right now, but I'm just gonna delete it um, and start over. So I have a tilt floating in water. Um, the easiest way to calibrate in water is to enable the get current SG. This will um, update the current SG on the, showing on the tilt. Um, so this is working because it's currently floating in water. Tilt's currently floating in water. And all I have to do is tap this calibrating water and you can see this adds a gravity point of 1.000 is um, what, what it would show if the, if the gravity um, was outputted at 1.99. So if I went back to the main screen, you can see now um, the gravity now shows as 1.000. And the output, the actual output of the tilt is 0 0.990. So you can see that it's doing this offset for you. Uh, and this is what it would show in any kind of data log. Um, going back to the calibration, let's just say um, I wanted a different number than one, or um, uh, let's just say I wanted a, a higher number. I'm going to delete this calibration point, and then um, I can actually just uh, increase it um, using these arrows like this. And as you can see, this disables because um, this number needs to be fixed. Uh, it can't be changing. So this number is now fixed and I'm going to um, uh, increase this value. And then I will just click calibrate known SG. So now I have this new value and uh, I can go back to my um, screen here. See, and I now have um, it showing as this. So. Um, I can add more calibration points as well. Let's just say um, uh, I wanted to uh, add another calibration point. Um, I could uh, add one here, add, add one here like this. Um, show you. Let's just say that's another calibration there. Calibration. So as you can see, um, I now have two calibration points, and this won't be an offset. This will uh, uh, be this will vary. The offset will vary depending on how close it is to these numbers. Uh, so these will be the inputs, and these will be the outputs. Hopefully, that makes sense. Um, happy brewing.